everybody welcome to your weekly reading sorry for the delay in the beginning if there was one okay this is for all signs for the week of november 26 to december 2nd so we'll start off with capricorn capricorn you guys have the lover's card this is great you could be having a connection with somebody at a very deep level a soulmate level um somebody you could have it could be a very close friendship it could be a colleague and you guys are opening your hearts to each other or developing a very strong connection okay another thing that it can mean for you guys you guys are making a love decision this week um and sometimes the love decision has a little catch-22 to it so uh, it could be something where you choose somebody but then they have baggage that comes along with them or something about them or what have you that you're going to have to accept and then finally that's a card of gemini so some of you could be involved with the gemini this week Second card, we have Aquarius, the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Aquarius, you guys have done something or have been trying to do something and it really hasn't, um, it's not working, okay? Maybe you tried to start a new business, you had a, an idea in regards to a practical matter. Um, it's just a spark of an idea and I don't feel like it got off the ground. It wasn't meant to be long-term. It was a short-term thing. Um, for others of you, just be really careful this week of irresponsibility with money or being extravagant with money or purchasing things that you might feel like you're entitled to but you don't necessarily necessarily have the money in your bank account to compensate for that and that's what I have for you guys this week Pisces we have the Queen of Swords in the upright Pisces you guys are going to be very kind of a clear regarding honest you're you're demanding honesty you're demanding truth from people and if anybody isn't going to meet this criteria you don't want to have to have anything to do with them as a matter of fact you guys are thinking very much with your head not so much with your heart and you've just decided you look at people you're seeing them for the bigger picture and if they aren't going to provide what you need in the honesty department you really don't want to waste your time with them so that's what I feel like is going on with you guys this week Three of Cups in reverse for Aries, okay? Aries, you guys are having a change in dynamic in regards to relationship or regards to a friendship. Some of you can be having block creativity this week. The best thing to do is take a break from this until you feel more grounded or until you feel a little bit better and then just cut it. Like if you're having writer's block, take a break and then reapproach it at a later time when you feel a little bit better or a little more positive. Um, it can also be about an affair, a betrayal, a friend betraying you, a colleague betraying you, a lover betraying you this week okay so that's what i have for aries taurus you guys have the hangman in reverse so you guys are feel like you're putting a lot into something and you aren't getting any results out of it and you're kind of waiting on making a decision in regards to this but you could be telling the other person, listen, I'm not going to wait forever on this. I feel like I put whatever I needed to put into this. I feel like you guys are being selfish. And for some of you, you're actually hoping somebody or something is going to change and that it hasn't been happening to it. So you've probably been holding on to this a little bit longer than you should have. And maybe you should start thinking about making a decision and kind of getting out of it if you've kind of put too much into it. Okay. That's what I have for Taurus. Gemini, we have the eight of swords in reverse for you guys so you guys are actually releasing yourselves from something escaping freeing yourself from something um you're kind of looking back on the old ways that you used to do things that might be brought about because of mercury retrograde and you're looking at the old ways old patterns things that you used to do and you're open to change this week you're open to changing things and not being the same way you were doing the same things you were or being with the same people you used to associate with and that's what i'm getting for you guys this week we move on to cancer cancer yay we have the ace of cups cancer you're going to find some kind of new beginning and it's really going to appeal to your emotions it's going to fill your cup it could be new creativity um, regarding a career or a project it can be a new love marriage birth some of you could be getting a proposal um whatever it is it's really something that's going to be emotionally pleasing to you okay and it's totally new and a new direction so that's very uplifting for you guys this week um <clears throat> leo we're moving on to the judgment card Leo, so you guys this week are going to be looking at a situation and kind of judging it um, from every angle, assessing it. It could be a situation, it could be a person, and you're going to have this boom, this wake up moment and kind of realize, okay, now I know how to go about it. Now I know what my purpose is. Now I can go ahead and make that final decision. You know, you're judging and you're making a final decision because very clearly you can see what to do in regards to a person or a situation. And you just needed to kind of have that see everything for what it was to to move forward in regards to how you're going to attack the matter or how you're going to deal with the matter okay um next we have virgos 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 you guys have the queen of cups so 
sort of like the cancers in a way that something is going to be filling your cup something is going to be appealing to you emotionally is going to consume you emotionally when the queen of cups shows up it is something that you nurture something you're absolutely devoted to something that you cherish with everything okay some of you could be getting into work that is very fulfilling for you that helps other people that ministers other people that gets into a better place if we're talking about career if it's not that you guys could meet somebody that you're deeply deeply connected to and that you really do want to pour all your emotions in and nurture this person and have you guys get to a better place. So this is, it's really looking for good for you guys this week for Virgos. Okay. And then we move on to Libras. Libras, you guys have the high priestess. So I feel like you guys are making a decision. Um, it could be, there's, there's mystery, there's secrets kind of surrounding you or this decision at this time. And you're, what you need to do or what you've been trying to do is trust yourself intuitively. Okay, so you're listening to your inner voice. You're trying to trust yourself. You're trying to listen to your gut to guide you because the facts are not presentable to you. You do not have the tangible things you need in order to make the decision. So the only choice you have is to kind of go within and trust in your feelings to know that you're choosing the right thing. You may also be trying to connect to another person intuitively um, to try to figure this person out or kind of make your decision. Okay. Then we have Scorpio. Scorpios, you have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is coming out of a difficult time, coming out of an emotional hardship, out of a financial hardship, um, out of some sort of struggle, struggle, and getting your confidence back and feeling really good about yourself. And the reason why you could be getting your confidence back is because you're going back and you're looking at the situation you were in and then realizing, you know, re-examining things about yourself what your personal values were like for instance the situation that you were in you might have kind of let yourself down a little bit and got into a situation that you shouldn't have and now that you have regained your confidence um you're kind of seeing that why you shouldn't have gotten into that and what you're going to do differently in the future so you don't get into something like that on a side note or a sidebar some of you may not be getting what is due to you from somebody so this could be an ex-employer an ex-partner um, an ex in general, just somebody from your past isn't giving what is owed to you. Usually this is financially, but it can be in terms of an apology. It could be in terms of, you know, what have you, any, anything practical it could be. Um, you know, they're holding on to stuff that belongs to you and you're not getting it back or a loan um, and you don't get paid back for it. So that's just a side note for you guys this week. And then finally, Sagittarius, we have the Queen of Wands. <clears throat> I was feeling with the Queen of Wands, you guys are definitely out of your element this week, okay? I don't know if you guys, I feel like you're going through a combination of emotions. Um, the one side of it, for a percentage of you, some of you guys are really having a loss of confidence, um, having like a fall from grace, um, being worried what other people are going to think. So, I mean, for you guys, you guys are usually very optimistic and almighty and powerful. And you're starting to kind of question yourself and wondering about yourself and what you're kind of doing this week and where you're going this week. This could be because of another person. Perhaps you're not communicating to this person. You're starting to question, why isn't this person talking to me? What's kind of going on here? And you're starting to doubt yourself, which, you know, like I said, is out of out of the element for you guys. Um, it can also be you guys are having angry feelings, frustrated feelings, okay? You could be resentful. You could be petty. You could be being a little bit narrow-minded or maybe pushy. Um, the queen of wands in reverse can take on a very aggressive kind of nature. So you guys could be feeling like that. Or you guys could be subjected to somebody who is like this and they're making you feel like doubting yourself like you know chipping away at your confidence or what have you okay so <clears throat> that's what I have for Sagittarius all right guys thank you for likes shares subscribes on um, check me out on YouTube Facebook Instagram follow me like share subscribe message me whatever you want to do also check out my sun moon readings I'm putting them up for 2019 on YouTube. So make sure to check out yours. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Good luck this week, guys. Bye.